Yo, it's your boy Big Al, Big Al Vending Machine. I'm glad to have you watching my channel. I want to talk about why did I choose the combo machine of your traditional snack and soda machine. Before I get into that, I want to thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe. Please subscribe to this channel. I want to put out more videos, more contents to talk about the vending machine business. Uh, me and my wife was able to grow the business during COVID. We got into the vending machine business with six machines and it was just supposed to be uh, some money just to make some little extra money. This wasn't supposed to be a full-time gig. We grew the business. Now we went from six to 25 machines and we rocking and rolling. And the machines we have is called a combo machine. A combo machine uh, is, is, you know, it's different than the other machines, the snack machine. Cause use the machine, you have a snack machine, you'll have a soda machine. In some place they wanted food, they will have a food machine. Well, this machine is three machines into one. And this machine right here has, uh, it's, it's a pretty big machine. Also, the machine holds 50 different items, 50 different items, and it holds up to 600 items in the machine. 600, that's a lot, a lot of stuff right there. And, um, hey, I, I want you to check this out. You know, the machines, I want you to see why did I decide to go with these machines. All right, folks, this is the combo machine that I was talking about earlier. Uh, these are my machines right here in the location right here. Also, before I go into depth about these machines, I am not being endorsed by the maker or the um, people that sell these machines. I'm not being endorsed by it, but, which is fine. I'm okay with it right now, so it's no problem. But these machines right here is a combo machine. The middle row is a full uh, row. Or you can just put whatever salads, Philly cheesesteaks, hamburgers, hot dogs, whatever. The two bottom row or the drink row. Also, these machines holds up to 50 different items uh, all the way into 600 items. So 50 different items, 600 items. You can convert these rows into whatever you want. Like those little plastic uh, dividers right there, you can take them out. So if you have items that's longer, you can go ahead and put those, take those out, or you want to have it just for sodas, like see the sodas, you can put a divider in there. Those are conveyor belts. They push the items out compared to the coil row. And also this elevator has elevators in it. The elevator has laser beams that goes across. So if the item does not fall into that elevator, you will not get charged. Uh, if you put a dollar bill in there, it would dispense back your money within coins. Uh, if you put, uh, if you use your credit card, it will also uh, give your money back. It will put it back on your credit card. You can use a smartphone, smartwatch, or you can use your credit card and you can tap it, and you can go ahead and pay like that. It's just the same, I, same way when you go to a grocery store. Uh, you can pay, pay for your item. It's not like the older way where you have to have an app or, or you just only take change. You don't have to worry about that. Also, um, this machine right here, it keeps the bottom row uh, and the middle row from the food on down a lot colder compared to the top row, it keeps it cooler. So that way you don't have to worry about having candy that's all mushy or just melted. You ain't got to worry about the wrapper sticking to the candy because it's melted. It does not happen in these machines. Um, it keeps the whole, um, all the items cool and colder. Uh, at the bottom you can put protein drinks and all that stuff like that in there also um, right here is the separate machine which is the drink machine and then you have the snack machine these two machines uh, uh, you have two of these machines my machine does both of what these machines doing and you don't have to worry about taking up a lot of space when you go to locations um, uh, these are not my machines. This is uh, inside a mechanic, um, inside the warehouse, 
and my machine is in the trucker lounge which my machines i do these machines they like my machines better uh, and i hadn't really pressed the owner to move those machines or the simple fact that i kind of got my work cut out for me with all my other machines i'm doing pretty good um, this is a newer version of the machines with the conveyor belt that i was talking about and the elevator this machine does not have it uh, this is the newer version of 2022 I went ahead and got the machine because they gave me a deal on it, but I just bought one. Um, the machine is pretty good. I like the other machines better, uh, I guess because I'm um, pretty much been dealing with them for a while and uh, I just like them a lot better. The elevator and I just like the whole setup. These machines, don't get me wrong, they're fine. I have no complaints. I just like the other one better. I guess I'm partial to that. <laughs> but also, um, these machines, same thing. Let me know when uh, they have a problem, didn't get their item, whatever. I get to see everything on my phone. Everything that goes on with this machine, I see it on my phone. I get to see the notification if uh, the machine is low or if I'm low on items, whatever. I get to see everything in this machine right here. Um, I have um like i was talking about earlier i grew my machines from we bought six and grew it to 25 machines during covid uh that was not the plan but business was doing pretty good we just went ahead expanded bought more machines and pretty much liking it uh, matter of fact um this machine is at a location where i had to move this particular machine right here and they wanted to buy the machine outright or they wanted to pay me a little extra which would have been fine but i had a location that was definitely needing another machine because the one machine i had was I, I was going there too too frequently so i just had to put the machine there and i'm making pretty good with the machine anyway so um it's definitely paying for itself um and i'm definitely getting the uh, revenue that i need to get the machine to um pretty much pay for itself so i have no complaints on that end right there so folks please subscribe to my channel and uh also like um and you know hit the button like and i'll be putting out more videos this is my first video i'll be putting out more to talk about the vending machine business talk about my journey i will go into more depth about the business and i'm just enjoying it and it's rocking and rolling thank you for watching this video Thank you.